So today I am going to be sharing with you A Course in Miracles workbook lesson number 295. Today's lesson is the Holy Spirit looks through me today. Christ asks that he may use my eyes today and thus redeem the world. He asks this gift that he may offer peace of mind to me and take away all terror and all pain. And as they are removed from me, the dreams that seemed to settle on the world are gone. Redemption must be won. As I am saved, the world is saved with me. For all of us must be redeemed together. Fear appears in many different forms, but love is one. My Father, Christ has, has asked a gift of me, and one I give that it be given me. Help me to use the eyes of Christ today, and thus allow the Holy Spirit's love to bless all things which I may look upon that his forgiving love may rest on me. And that's it. That's our lesson. And it is A Course in Miracles workbook lesson 295. And what is this actually saying? It's basically saying that you're allowing the Holy Spirit to look through you today. And when I first started doing A Course in Miracles, I was very confused about that word, Holy Spirit. I'm thinking, what is Holy Spirit, right? And as I was doing the lessons, I realized that it's kind of like that umbilical cord that connects you to the one mind of love that we all share. And that's the way to remember the truth of who and what you are. I've even referred to the Holy Spirit as this like cosmic goo that connects us to that one mind, right, of love, that one mind of God. It's the way we remember the truth about who and what we are. So if we can connect to that one mind of God and allow it to look through us today to see what it sees, we can see how that might change our world, right? And that's the gift that Christ asks of us. And what is Christ, right? That one mind of God that we are connected with. It's just our higher self, that truth within us that is asking us to open our eyes and see the truth around us today, right? And as that one mind of love looks through our eyes today, it removes all of the terror and all of the pain. And it just sees love everywhere right? And as you are saved from your fearful thoughts, the world is saved with you because the world is also part of that one mind of love of God, right? So that's all. That's all this lesson is today. Just open your eyes, connect to source, right? Connect to love, connect to God, whatever that is for you, that word, the universe, and allow that to look through you today and see what you see, right? So see how that works out for you today on this beautiful, beautiful Wednesday. Hello, everyone. Great to have you here on the live feed with me this morning. Good to see you, Carl. Hey, Francine. Great to see you here this morning. <clears throat> Good morning, Pam. Great to see you. Good morning, everyone. Hi, honey. Great to see you here on the live feed. Good morning, David. Great to see you here. Not sure how that appeared. <laughs> I know that's funny, right? Sometimes these things just come out of nowhere, it seems. Hey, Charles, great to see you here this morning. Good morning, Roy, great to see you. Hey, Vera, great to see you. Hey, Abdallah, nice to see you on the live feed. Open eyes and see as source, right? As love, right? So connect to that one place of love today. I've been, um, I've been listening to um, Deepak Chopra's podcast, Infinite Possibilities. And oh my gosh, what a great podcast it is. And there was um, a person who was being interviewed yesterday um, that I was listening to. And he was talking about how he starts his day every morning in meditation. 
And he said he just, you know, goes into meditation for 20 minutes. And part of his meditation, you know, in addition to gratitude, right, three things we're grateful for, concentrate on that, is to connect to that one mind of love, connect to source, right, and allow that to be your main guiding principle for the day, your GPS system, right? Allow that to come through you and actually invite it to come through you. You know, let me connect to source and let me see the world through the eyes of love and through the eyes of that one mind that we all share. And what a great way to start our day, right? If we can consciously set that intention for our day, imagine how things might show up differently throughout the day. So try that out today, even though technically it was yesterday's lesson. We just flopped them around a little bit. So um, tomorrow I will be doing lesson 297 just so you guys know. Um, I don't want to get you confused because I did 296 yesterday. We're doing 295 today. Tomorrow is going to be 297. So, uh, so enjoy these lessons and uh, feel free to share what is coming up for you around these lessons. If you're enjoying them, if maybe there's some frustration that you want to uh, talk about. And you can do that here on the main Facebook group or you can jump on over to our private Facebook group. And, uh, and share what's coming up for you over there. And that's also where I post all of these lessons. All of these lessons are there for you to read and reread at your leisure and go through them again. And, uh, and my YouTube channel is also up, so you can go all the way back to January 1st with Course in Miracles workbook lesson number one and start all over again and, uh, and see how that works out for you. But try not to do more than one lesson a day. They're really more helpful if you do one a day and you do them in order. Um, that is how they are the most effective. So enjoy these lessons. Thank you again for joining everyone. It's always great to see you here on the live feed and I will see you tomorrow morning with our next live A Course in Miracles workbook lesson. Until then, enjoy this great, beautiful day. Happy Wednesday, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.